Welcome to Electron Online. Now we're going to explore the question, what is the Zeeman effect or Zeeman effect, however you want to pronounce it. It was after, named after a Dutch uh, physicist. So Ze means sea and man means man, so man of the sea. Anyway, back to what it actually means. So when we go back to the concept of where that applies, where that concept applies, is the concept of what happens when electrons jump between energy levels within the hydrogen atom. And it was noted that when electrons jump from higher levels down to lower levels, photons are emitted of specific, specific frequencies or wavelengths. The way we can calculate what those photons are and what the frequency and wavelengths are is to know the difference in the energy levels. And the energy levels can be calculated using the equation of 1 over n squared times minus 13.6 electron volts. Minus 13.6 electron volts is the energy level of the innermost energy where the principal quantum number n equals 1. And so therefore at higher energy levels, n equals 2, n equals 3, n equals 4, we could calculate the associated energy levels of those particular regions. And so therefore when electrons jump between those, they will then emit a photon that has an energy equal to the difference of those levels. For example, when an electron jumps from the fourth level down to the second level, the difference in the energy is 2.55 electron volts, and when we then calculate the wavelength of that photon, we can see that it's about 486 nanometers. Likewise, when an electron jumps from the second level down to the first level, we can calculate the associated, the associated a wavelength of that photon, 122 nanometers, which of course would be a ultraviolet photon where this was a visible light photon. So these, these spectrums, the spectra of those jumps was, was already discovered, but then something happens that was very strangely. When we took the hydrogen atoms and we subjected them to a magnetic field, we saw something different. We saw additional lines in the spectrum. So instead of seeing a single spectral line for that particular jump, we would see the same single line, but would see two additional lines. And the question was, why would we see two additional lines when a magnetic field was applied? And of course, if you saw the previous several videos, we realized then that the angle momentum the, of the orbiting electron can only have discrete directions. And those discrete, the number of discrete directions are dependent upon L, which is the, the orbital quantum number. So when L is equal to 1, there will be three m sub L possible values, which means when L equals 1, there are three different orientations of the angle momentum, and the energies of those three different orientations are slightly different. In other words, when we apply magnetic field, we now have three different possible orientations for the angle momentum, and then the jumps of the electrons cause slightly different energy differences, which then would then be associated with photons being emitted that have slightly different wavelengths and slightly different energies according to those energy differences from where the electron came from to where the electron is going. Now when n equals 1, there's only one specific angle momentum direction we can have so that this would not split up, but for the L equals 1, or the n equals 2 level, where L equals 1, the orbital quantum number equals 1, there will be three different orbital magnetic quantum numbers associated with the three different levels that the electrons can be, which actually means they're associated with three different angle momentum directions. One that's straight out relative to the z-axis, one that's up here, and one, that, one that's down there. And so therefore we have a split in the energy level, slight split, causing a slight difference in the spectral lines that we would see. And that discovery was then known as the Zeeman effect. You apply magnetic field and all of a sudden, instead of having a single line associated with the jump from the second to the first level, we now have three different lines associated with the jump from the second to the first level, indicating that something was happening. There were more energy levels now, slightly different from the original energy level when a magnetic field was applied. And now we know that's due to the fact that the angle momentum has three different orientations within that specific energy level when L equals 1. And that's the Zeeman effect.